Joe Bastille is here with tonight's final thought. Taco Beach in Long Beach, California. It's a special place um, that I seem to have spent an awful lot of time at uh, during my last five years living in Long Beach uh, before moving out here to Florida in 2008. And um, I guess part of the special memory is that um, it was one of these sorts of things I gave myself permission to go out uh, because I was working so hard in the teaching gig. And uh, usually, you know, uh, in the fall uh, with Monday Night Football, that was kind of like, you know, the thing. And then um, Fridays, I would uh, wander over there. And, and Taco Beach uh, was a place I guess I started going to after um, I stopped going to the Blue Cafe, which had slowed down after 9-11. Uh, um, and Taco Beach at the time, when I first started especially, was just, you know, kind of a one of the bars on Pine Avenue. Um, served good food, had, had good beer, you know, the prices were pretty reasonable and, uh, and that sort of thing. And then having gone there, you know, several times a month, um, you know, got to know the, got to know the folks and stuff like that. And eventually, um, got to be pretty good friends with some of them as far as, you know, hanging out at the bar. And then also got a chance to, uh, interact and meet, um, an, an artist, uh, a musician named uh, Neva, who I've written about, um, uh, more than a few times and um, you know I when I came out here to Florida I was a little frustrated because I couldn't quite seem to find um, a place like that in terms of you know it was within walking distance it was pretty inexpensive so I never thought twice about you know about going there in terms of um, you know that sort of thing and um, a couple not too long ago I was uh, doing some stuff with the, with the with the photographs and moving things back and forth and making sure I had everything backed up and I found this folder uh, on my computer of um, these pictures from you know a time at Taco Beach and I didn't realize that a bunch of them were little short videos that I was um, taking with my um, with my cell phone with a, I had a trio at the time and um, it dawned on me that I, I must have really spent a lot more time there than I remember, you know, because in my mind it's just, you know, I, I would go there at least maybe once or once a month or something like that. And so I, I literally um, calculated how often I'd gone there, uh, credit cards, having a record of everything. And it seems the last five years um, I went there 125 times. Now that that's pretty respectable, but, but uh, the first year in 2004, I only went there 16 times. So I must have gone there, you know, maybe mid year or something like that. The biggest year was I went uh, 37 times in 2006, so obviously I was having a good time. And um, 2008, when I lived in California only from January to June, I had already gone there uh, 20 times, so I was obviously up for um, for some kind of record. And so it just it kind of dawned on me that, well, obviously I had a special memories of this place because I was going there, you know, pretty frequently, and I've not I I never developed that pattern here in Florida. Uh, because there is no place within walking distance that really um, kind of fit fit the bill. I mean, Gators is pretty close. Um, you know, just a, you know, just a different vibe kind of a thing. Um, so it, it's just one of these sorts of things where you know we uh, develop these memories, and then you come to find out that it's a little bit different from um, from what I remember. Because you know, I've got these fond memories, and it's not that it wasn't fond. It's just that. Well, Dell, you had these fond memories. I was spending, you know, so, sometimes two times a week uh, at the place. Um, it's, in, you know, I, I, I was there quite, quite frequently. So I just find the difference between what I remember and then what obviously must have happened um, to be a little bit different in terms of spending so much time at this, this uh, particular bar. I'll uh, include a couple of the shaky uh, videos with really crappy sound at the end of this uh, recording for your enjoyment. Uh, but it is one of these sorts of things I have no, you know, you kind of say that um, for some people, it's just like, you know, a memory is a memory and you have these, you know, great memories, you know, nostalgia kind of a thing. And then, um, well, in my case, because I've, I've written so much down about these times and I've got, you know, photographic and sometimes video evidence, it's, it's interesting that I still, have to stop every once in a while to, um, you know, to, to realize that I'm, I'm doing the same thing, you know, whatever it was, whatever works or whatever doesn't work, you know, um, I, 
it's it's just an interesting re- you know revelation that that I kind of have no excuse in terms of you know uh, not progressing or becoming a, a better person or whatever the hell it is that I'm trying to do because it's not as if I can you know I can pretend like whatever happened in the past didn't happen because I've written about it you know and so this it was just an interesting thing to find all these videos that I had totally forgotten about and then to discover that I had you know gone to this place as frequently as I had gone there and I you know I went to other places and did other things and, and stuff like that but to uh, I don't know it was just it was just an interesting thought and, and, uh, and so the, the difference between you know the memory and then the reality is is just I guess, you know I guess it's just one of those things of getting older but at the same time it's kind of I kind of find it funny um, that I was there a lot and um, and in my mind you know well duh no wonder I can't find a place like that here in Florida because you know I, I don't see myself going to my local pub quite as frequently as I did uh, back in, in Long Beach and, and maybe that's why uh, I needed to come out to Florida to I, I was gonna say sober up but um, now that I don't think that's it um, but anyway that's tonight's final thought is uh, that I have no excuse I have devil uh, I have digital evidence of my uh, misspent youth because you know I was actually much older than a young person anyway um, catch you next time and uh, enjoy the funky videos Oh, wait a minute, this is a moving picture. You guys have moved. Hey,